We are on the beautiful San Antonio Riverwalk at the King of Fine Dining, Biga on the Banks, and you're in for a treat. Their signature dessert here is the sticky toffee pudding, and Chef Lilith Bernal, the pastry chef, is going to show us how to make it. So we could do this at home. We can do this at home. This is a very simple recipe. Um, okay. There's two tricks, and I'm going to show you the tricks. But first, we're going to start with some dates. These are chopped. You can buy them chopped, or you can chop them yourself. It doesn't matter. They're soaking in some water. And I'm going to add some baking soda. And this is the trick number one. The baking soda is going to soften the skin on the dates and make them nice and soft so that we don't even really notice they're there. Ah, OK. We're going to set that aside while we mix everything else up. So we're down. We've got trick number one. Trick number one, taking <laughs> okay. care of. Then we're going to mix butter. Just cream it up. This is soft butter. Uh -huh. Add in some brown sugar. Just go ahead and dump the brown sugar in and let that mix up. We use blackstrap molasses, mm -hmm. but you don't have to use blackstrap molasses. The only difference will be your finished product will be a little lighter. In color. So it doesn't affect the flavor if it you use a different... It, the, it's, I guess, a personal choice. Uh -huh. If you like that real dark molasses flavor, then I would use the darker. If you like kind of the sweeter molasses, then I would use the lighter. I'm going to add an egg. One whole egg. One whole egg which is just regular all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Nothing special there. And then while that's going, we're going to add in the dates and all the water. All right. We're not going to worry about straining them or anything like that. So they're now nice and soft. Right. And that skin, which can be a little tough, is just going to barely even be there. The soda kind of almost dissolves it. Just breaks it down. Yep. And there we go. That's our finished batter right there. All right. Now to bake them, this is our big secret. Okay, secret number two. Secret number and two it's a coming up. <laughs> now we bake them in these little aluminum cups. You can bake them in any ramekin. It can be glass, ceramic, it doesn't matter. And I use a scoop because we do many hundreds at a time, but you can just use a big spoon. That would also work. Okay. Here's the secret. We're going to steam them. Now, when Bruce's mom used to make these, she steamed them on the stovetop in a big kettle that she had to keep adding water, but we don't have to do all that. We just want to seam them just like this. We're going to make sure we have a really good seal around the edge of our foil. So you're making your own little airtight container. making a little steam bath. Yeah. Yep. Seal's very important. If the seal's not there, they will not steam. All right, so be sure and to seal it. Then we're just going to pop it in the oven. All right. And how long does it stay in the oven? Um, the big ones, these take about 35 minutes. Okay. This is our finished product. Now you want to be careful when you're opening it up because it's going to have some steam and so you don't want to get a face full there. Instant facial. Right. And this is the sticky and you see it's nice and firm. It's completely baked up. We're going to pull it out. Now we played them with um, some custard sauce down in the bottom, which is just like a thick anglaise. And it should, this will be the test, right? <laughs> Pop right out. Yeah. There we go. You got it. Right on top. And we put a little toffee. So this was Bruce's mom's recipe. <laughs> no, I don't think it was actually Bruce's mom's recipe. <laughs> <laughs> but she made these. She made these, sure. I think all English moms make puddings. That's yeah. That's their thing. It's like and everyone pie. has their own little Everyone has their choice. favorite, of course. Yeah. And that's it. That's our sticky. Beautiful. And do you garnish with the raspberry? We garnish with the raspberry or any berry or nothing or a piece of mint or whatever you have. Okay, so this is the interpretation of Bruce's mom's. <laughs> <laughs> this is a la Lilla, right? Well, this is a recipe that we've that was here when I got mm. here. So it's oh, a vegan recipe. <laughs> it is delicious. Oh good, I'm glad you And like lucky it. you. We've got the recipe on the website. Enjoy everyone.